Thanks for joining us. The show has an AL East matchup. Just about set to go. And on the hill in this one, Zach Thompson. And singing, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed oh. with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. And now two and two. Struck him out without a swing. Throws him with the heater at the knees. Yandy Diaz now. Grounded to third, could be two. To second for one, and that's two. Welcome back, and getting the start. Shane McClanahan, what do you have on him, Siggy? No run support for my young man. Extremely well. He doesn't have to be perfect, but if he can give another performance like last time out, his team will be happy. Now. It's the DH, Santiago Espinal. And a 1 2. And a 1 That's 2 the misses to even the count. Two balls. Two Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Well, that'll make you smile out there on the mound or maybe pump out your chest a little bit farther. That's about as good of a backdoor curveball as you'll ever see. Right on the black and not surprisingly, just locked him up in the box. Got him. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Bo Bichette up to the dish. Comes in working with the sixth best average in the AL. Looks really sharp at the start of this one. This is how it's going to be today. It's going to be a tough one for this lineup. Got him. Strikes out the side to begin. Second inning set to go. Lau at the plate. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Good eye right there. And now it's filled up. I think he was sitting off speed there. Clyde Washington with home plate duties in this one. A little bit of a low zone boot from Clyde. Nothing crazy, though. Pitchers that work consistently down around the knees and are able to command their off-speed stuff tend to have some pretty good success with him back there behind the plate. 
Arroyo whips it to first. Leadoff man retired here in the second. Harold Ramirez at the dish. One down, base is empty. There's a swing and a drive. That one hops against the fence. He's in at second with a one-out double. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game. But all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Here's Wander Franco. Just a weak fly ball this time. Varsho on the move. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. And there are two down. Christian Bethencourt next to hit for the Rays. Man at second. And a ball evens the count. Ramirez stands at second with two gone. Now one out to right, and that is Springer. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. The Rays strand. Back here at Rogers Center, and here's the first baseman, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Next offering is in for a strike. I mean, that's perfect location right on the black. I mean, over and over again, this guy demonstrates the ability to hit those spots. They're so tough to do anything with as a hitter. Swing and a miss struck him out. And it'll be George Springer to step to the plate. Another solid power season. In for a strike. And a count one and two. And now Good two and two. The 2-2 two -two now. Stays alive. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. Breaking ball, and that got him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. What a roller coaster at bat. It was a great battle to run the count full, but ended up being kind of an ugly finish to that A-B. To third, tag, got him! Great throw, man. It's always a risk when you're pushing for third like that. A bang bang play. He had a chance to make it. Maybe a little better slide around the tag, but a nice job by the defense to cut off that runner. And the pitch. And now it's filled up. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Marco makes a nice running catch. One left for Toronto. We'll move to the third with no score. Out of the third inning, and now the DH, Taylor Walls. Ball to strike, the pitch. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Still able to come through behind in the count right there. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box, got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. In the air, center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Now it's Randy Rosarena. Worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. 1-1 one, one now. In the dirt. Not in time. He's safe. Walls into scoring position on the wild pitch. And there goes the double play possibility. 
And the right hander deals. And that's downstairs and outside. Pitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Well, Boog, it becomes pretty difficult as a teammate when a guy's struggling like this. You don't know if you want to go up and tell him to keep swinging it or if you want to give him his space, what exactly he needs. But right now, it's clearly a struggle for him, and you're just hoping that Somehow, some way, it'll click, and he can get out of this as quickly as possible. Here's Manuel Margot. The one-one is fouled off. On the ground, the first slides, but it gets by him. Walls rounds third, headed for the plate. He'll score, and it's one nothing. Well, they strike first as he gets the job done to bring home the run. Even though he was really late on it, he clearly barreled the ball because that one was ripped down the line. He had to be really short with that swing and not get beat by that pitch. So two down, Yandy Diaz. Next to hit for the Rays. He hit into a double play his first time up. Next offering clips the zone count even at two. Margot on at second with two down. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. Rays get an RBI double. It's now 1-0. Back after this on the show. Back here at the ballpark as we go to the last of the third. Now it's going to be Dalton Varsho. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. Nope, Next point. pitch is outside. That's hard hit on the line. He dives, but can't hang on. That's a base hit. Throws to second, and he's out trying for two. Here's Kevin Kiermeyer. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. And that one is lifted in the air. Margot settles under it. He makes the catch, and there's two down. A designated hitter, number five. And now, Santiago Espino. He was a strikeout victim his first time. And now the lefty. Ground ball right side, and it finds its way through for a hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Back against the wall with two strikes, but found a way. Just a simple ground ball the other way that had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in the play, and just hope it finds a hole. On to Franco, inning over. Blue Jays held in check. They still trail 1-0. Back now in Toronto, and now it's Brandon Lau. He provides a surprising amount of pop from the second base position. Listen, that's not something to take lightly. Getting that kind of production from the guys up the middle, it's not a strength of most lineups. They all pitch. Got him swinging. This guy will throw any pitch in any count. 3-2, he goes off speed gets the out now and now the first baseman Harold, Harold Ramirez, Ramirez doubled in his first AB and a 1 1 and a foul ball and what does that do for a team when you get power from unexpected spots like that when you're in the dugout and you see a guy come up big like that that you don't necessarily expect it it just energizes that entire team Righty to the plate. 
Fouls it off, still one and two. Righty delivers. Not close with that one. Two balls, two strikes. That to right. Springer drifts towards it. He makes the grab. Out number two. The batter, number five. Shortstop. Now batting Wander, Wander Franco. Franco. Line drive. Lays out and makes the play. One of the most fun and exciting things you can do as an outfielder. You lay out, you make a diving catch, and you end the inning. That gets the boys fired up in the dugout. Bottom four. And now for the Jays, Bobichet. When he steps into the batter's box, the comfort level looks so high. It doesn't matter what kind of delivery that pitcher has, what kind of velocity, what kind of secondary stuff. He is so settled in there, he owns the home plate area. He came out of his mechanics there, typically likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. That's in there. It's two and two. pitch foul ball another 2 2 upcoming fights it off you'll see another kicks and fires foul off the plate they'll do it again 2 2 Still just the second batter of the inning, and on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They got him working hard out there. About to see the 11th pitch of the at-bat here. Got him. That's his second strikeout. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed, it's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. Oh, now this is blasted way back there on its way. Gone. Change up, up in the zone is a hitter's dream. It's a BP fastball, but you're playing in real time. Most times, the pitcher's asking for a new baseball, just like right there. Next pitch is inside, three and one. And it's ball four. He missed down low. It's been a little bit of a shaky inning, but he's still in a good spot to get out of this now thing without giving up any more runs. He's just got to turn the page and go after this next guy. Good job to fight that one off. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Chapman, big blast, left field. The Rosarena raging back towards the wall. Pulls it in on the warning track. Toronto picks up one on this homer. All even at one apiece. We go to the top of the fifth, and stepping in for the Rays, Christian Bethencourt. Swings and misses. Two balls, two strikes. Movement in the bullpen. Bowden Francis up and throwing. Ryu getting cranked up as well. Two two now. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. Ground ball right side. 
It's in and out of his glove, but he wins the foot race to first. Good job of knowing how much time he had there. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. The 1 1. And now the count 1 and 2 after the swing and the miss. So critical to keep an eye on the pitch count this time of the year. Guys can start to run on fumes a little bit. Mechanics can drop off. And we know they need him to be fresh and ready for big innings in October. In the dirt. Kirk to first. Got him. Two gone after the strikeout. You hear people talk about letting the ball travel so often in terms of a hitting approach. And that's a great example why right there. If he's willing to let that curveball get a little deeper into the zone before he commits, he's way more likely to recognize that it's making a beeline for the dirt. On the other side, still a nice two-strike pitch, though. This game has been so tight, feels like the next team to score will win it. The pitch. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Down in order, go the Rays. Score remains tight. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now for the Jays, Dalton Varsho. To the right side. And that chance handled. On the run, sends it over to first. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. Well, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. And now, Santiago Espino. Here goes the runner. And fouled off. And he deals. Diving! And he can't make the play. Throw comes into second. They get it in quickly. So first and second now, one out. Here's Christian Arroyo. And a pitch. And a 2-1 hammered but foul. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning-inning double play, Boog. Up the middle, and he knocks it down. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Oh, just a nice job coming through in a pretty high leverage spot right there. You can't do much better than that on a pitch that far outside of the strike zone. Got him. With that went back up the middle, and it gets through. One runs in. In there safely. It's 3-1. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring it back. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. And here it comes. On the ground to third. To first. They limit the damage here. Out of the bullpen for the Jays, Bowden Francis. Well, he hasn't pitched in a while. Coming on here after five days rest, so he should be rested. But we'll see if he has any rust to shake off. 2-2 Two -two now. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Well, that's a curveball that I'm sure he wants back at the plate. Two strikes, the sort of pitch you're hoping for. A bit of a mistake, and I'd say in a very hittable location. But clearly the break was enough to get him to swing through it. Manuel Margot up to the plate. Having more success against left-handed pitching this season, as might be expected. Now up for Tampa Bay, Yandy Diaz. And one and two. Now this manager knows that his players are just trying to do too much. Everybody needs to just take a deep breath, relax, and let it naturally happen. Out to short, Bichette. And that will end the inning. So they make short work of them there. Six, seven, eight, two in the bottom of the sixth. It's the Blue Jays three, the Rays one. Bottom of the six, and here's the catcher, Alejandro Kirk. It's amazing we get a chance to talk to a lot of opposing managers. This guy scares managers on the other team as much as anyone. And he gets to fly beneath the radar with the other more recognizable names in this lineup. Now a mound visit coming. And with the reliever just beginning throwing out there in the bullpen, this should buy a little more time to get him loose.
And the Rays manager making his way towards the mound now as he will make the move. Shane McClanahan departs and as he heads off, Luis Patino takes over on the mound. He's pitching on two days rest. Luis Patino. Off the mark there. Now two balls and a strike. That one fouled off. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. Home run number 15 on the year, and they add on. It's... Well, they win the opener at home. First game of the three-game series, and there's...